Hello, and welcome to this video on how to use the Tarsia Jigsaw Puzzle Creator, also called the Nine Square Puzzle Creator. Here I am on the GeoGebra homepage. You'll notice also that I am signed in. You need to be signed in. It says my first initial here, not the word sign in. And to find the creator, I can use the magnifying glass to search, and I could just type Tarsia. You'll notice when I do that, a number of hits come up. This first hit is the book by Samantha Garcia. This is the one that has the instructions and samples in it. Okay, I'll take that. Now you'll notice that book has the creator in it. It's also got this video on how to use the creator and there's many different sample instructions. I'm gonna go and open the Tarsia Jigsaw Puzzle Creator. Next, I need to make a copy of this activity. So I'll go to the three dots and I will select Copy Activity. Notice, I'm not copying the book. I'm just copying this particular activity. When I do that, GeoGebra gives me a new name. Now it's called a copy of the creator. Of course, I can click up there and I could change that name, but I don't, I wanna input data. I don't wanna change the name, that name is fine. So I'm gonna click here in this book and you'll notice it just got highlighted in gray, but that's not enough. I have to click in that gray area again and now you can see the edit tools came up and now I am going to be able to edit or copy or delete. So the pen is edit, so I will select the pen. And now you could tell I'm in edit mode because look, a bunch of blue things popped up down here that really lets you know you are in editing mode. So I'm gonna to start to type in my data. I will type in uh, values, you know, let's say, capital A, lowercase a. Uh, these can be um, questions and answers. These can be uh, vocabulary words in one language and another. So your students can, you know, you can be a foreign language teacher teaching your kids translations, uh, whatever you want, as long as there's a question and answer or a matching type of values. I will just make um, a two by two. So I will go here. Now I'm, I don't want my kids to be able to make a new puzzle or set up uh, show the setup buttons, or I don't want them to have a solve. So I will turn those off. I really only want them to be able to check their work. And then I will click next step. And then you can see here is the Tarsia that it has created. Now I wanna save this edited applet. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and you'll see here it says done. So I'm gonna select done. And now that applet is closed. And now I wanna save the entire resource. So I'm gonna come over here and select save and close. Of course, I could also save it here, but I'm gonna to go to save and close. So now that Tarsia puzzle actually got saved. Where did it get saved? Well, go back to the GeoGebra homepage by clicking on GeoGebra and use the three lines, right, the hamburger menu to go to your profile. And profile is where all of your resources are saved. Here is my copy. That's the last one. These others were the ones that I was playing with before. Here is my copy. I will open the copy. And there you can see this is the puzzle that I have created. I want to share that with my class, so I will hit Assign. Okay. I can assign either through Google Classroom or GeoGebra. I don't have a Google Class, so I'll assign it through GeoGebra. Okay, gives me the opportunity to name it, maybe, or rename it. I can rename it for a particular class that I might assign this to, period one or period two, and I create. And now I get a join code. I give my students this join code, and now they will join and be able to work on that Tarsia puzzle that I created. Thank you.